Okay, I know I haven't, I haven't got back to you guys yet. 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 Yeah. I'm going to make it back there. Okay, I just did this side. Um, okay, so let's look at this here. Probability. So we got this bag that contains two blue marbles, two yellow marbles, and four purple marbles. So it says find the probability of drawing each color. What do I have for a probability for blue? Julian? Two over eight. Two eights. Yeah. Uh, yellow. Preston? I did my math wrong. It's also two eights. It's also two eights. Yeah. And Cruz? Purple? Uh, purple, purple is four eights. Four eights. Now, I, you know what? Even if I didn't... Yeah, I would have to say purple up here. But if you know there were eight in the bag, could I figure out how many purple? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. here I have... I would add these to figure out what's left of eight. Okay. So the reason why I'm showing you that cool is because down here, that's what you kind of do. Okay, what is the probability of not choosing a blue blue marble? So if I'm not choosing a blue, what am I choosing? A yellow or a purple. Okay, I'm either choosing a yellow or a purple. So I would go two eights. Plus four eighths. Equals six eighths. Six eighths. Where'd you get the four eighths? Okay, purple. Purple? Where'd you get the Okay, and then if you add two, that was a, it's an eight, but it's not, it, my board didn't connect. If you add two marbles to each color, what changes? Nothing. Oh. Nothing. Now think about it, guys. Yes. Okay, it does. It changes the value of the numerator. And yes, so adding two is not like doubling. And I'm going to show you. So if I add two here, now I have four tenths. This is one fourth. Is that one fourth? No. So the probability changes two. Okay, I kind of set you guys up for a little trick there. And then this would become four tenths. And if I added, um, hold on, four fourteenths. That's my mistake. Because I have to add two to each one. Does that make sense? Oh. And so this changes by six. That was a good little not teaching right there. Did you do that on, in the other classes also? No. I, I made that mistake just right now. So that becomes 4 fourteenths. This becomes 4 fourteenths. And you can see 4 fourteenths is not 1 fourth. This would have to be 4 sixteenths to be 1 fourth. So it also changes the probability. And then this would become 6 fourteenths, which is not as high as 1 half. So here it was a half. Here it's now 6 fourteenths less than a half because 7 fourteenths is a half. Does that make sense? So the probability changing going down here actually got passed on. These became greater over here, greater chances. So adding two or adding anything to your probability, to your bag, isn't like doubling. It's not like tripling. It's not you know, multiplying it by five. It's completely different. It's going to change your probability. Thumbs up, we're good there. Thumbs up. I got a thumbs up. Thumbs up, okay. Um, last question, and this is where I was going cool for this before about when um, at thinking about what you're not adding. So how many marbles would you have to add to yellow so it has a 0.5? So yellow right now has a one-fourth, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I just caught you somewhere else. <laughs> was it warm? Were you on a beach? No, I was just kind of <laughs> Yeah. No, you were here just like. All right. So um, if this is 0.5, hypothetically, this is 0.5, what must blue and purple also be? 0.5. 0.5. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to add them together, which, okay, where it's going to be two eighths 
plus four eighths, six eighths. Okay, so I know that my numerator in yellow has to be six. Does that make sense? So how many do I have to add to yellow? Four. Four. Okay. So if I add four to yellow, I have to add four here, and I also have to add four there. So I add the four in the numerator because that's changing how many yellows. And then I have to add four in the denominator because that's changing the total. What do we think of that B? Kira, cool. Does that make sense? So now I got six twelfths. Is six twelfths half? Yes. Yes. So it, the question of if you have to make a certain color, a block, a certain probability, think about if that's that, then these others must make what's left over. And then you're not having to deal with um, like three different choices. You're kind of only dealing with two. You're like, oh, that's 50%. So this must also be 50%. How do I make this 50%? Well, if there's six in here, there must be six in there. And so how many do I need to add to that? 